Ah, my dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? I do not believe I've had the pleasure of meeting a Mr. Hammond. A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm actually rather busy. We have already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived 10 minutes ago. Then I shan't keep him waiting. Splendid. Off you go. Mr. Hammond, I believe? That is correct. Evie Fry. Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. Uh, my father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Also, I am to be married. You don't sound too eager for the happier. Stand up your money. I like your toes. Care to trade them for mine? my fortune. I shall meet Bella Wilton as a nobody. We shall see if she'll have me now. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river.
exciting. This is like something out of a novel. Let us go and meet my fiance. I can't wait to see her response. I feel quite liberated, as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. After this, just to be sure, would you take me to my fiance's house? I shall deliver the sad news myself. Don't you think that's a little risky? She has never set eyes on me. Besides, I need to ascertain whether I like her as well. And I want to see how she reacts to the news of my death. Come on, hurry up! This is taking far too long. You're going the wrong way, I'm sure of it. Please hurry, I'm very anxious to meet Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson? Yes? My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Oh? Your fiancé, John Hammond, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Poor Mr. Hammond. I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. I hope she's more intrigued than she is appalled. 